Lesson 2, Chart 1G. Omniscient, all-knowing, Isaiah 4, 24. Thus saith the Lord thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb, I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretcheth forth the heavens alone, that spreadeth abroad the earth by myself. Nobody's help is needed. Omniscient, only God is all-knowing. Only God can read your mind and thoughts. Nobody has ESP. Omniscient, God is all wisdom and all knowledge. ESP is a lie from hell and Satan. The demon-possessed psychics, witches, and Wiccan cannot read your mind. It is a lie. They are listening to demonic voices, not reading your mind. Job 34.21 For his eyes are upon the ways of man, and he seeth all his goings. The Lord knows what's in your mind. He can read your mind. Nobody else. No human being on earth can read your mind. The devil can't read your mind, and neither can Satan. Only God. Psalms 139 and 4 for there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knowest it all together. 1 Chronicles 28 and 9 And thou, Solomon, my son, know thou the God of thy father, and serve him with a perfect heart and with a willing mind. For the Lord searcheth all the hearts and understandeth all the imaginations of the thoughts. If thou seek him, he will be found of thee, but if thou forsake him, he will cast thee off forever. Ezekiel 11 and 5 And the Spirit of the Lord fell upon me, and said unto me, Speak, thus saith the Lord. Thus have ye said, O house of Israel, for I know the things that come into your mind, every one of them. Romans eight twenty seven, And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is, the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. The mind of the Spirit. Ephesians 4.17 False prophets and psychics. This I say therefore and testify in the Lord that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind. Colossians 2.18 on false prophets. Let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary humility and worshiping of angels. Satan is an angel of light, Intru intruding into those things which he hath not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind. The devil is a liar. Romans 1.28, false prophets, psychics, and witches. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. They have a reprobate mind. And a false prophet, if somebody prophesies something and it doesn't come to pass, they are a false prophet. Romans 8, 7, false teachings, because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. The carnal minds came up with the Koran, which was written 600 years after the Bible was finished. The Kabbalah, astrology, the Kabbalah book was written 200 AD, that's 100 years after the last book of the Bible was finished. And... Anybody worshiping or praying to Mary is a carnal mind, which is enmity against God. Nobody should be praying to Mary or any dead saints. That is necromancy. And they come to Jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil. And he had the legion sitting and clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. And when you are possessed, when people are possessed with devils, 
They are possessed with devils. They will not be in their right mind. They speak stupid things, bad and evil thoughts and evil things. Mass shootings are caused by people that are possessed with devils. Luke 8.35 Then they went out to see what was done and came to Jesus and found the man out of whom the devils were departed, sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. So after the demons were, devils were cast out, it says cast out the devil. Don't bind him to anybody. Cast out the devils were departed, and then he was in his right mind. Never bind a devil to people. Ephesians 4.23 and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, which is Acts 2, 1 through 39, including Mother Mary. She was in the upper room, was filled with the Holy Ghost, and spoke with other tongues as the Spirit gave the utterance. They had renewed the spirit of their minds, including Mother Mary, had to get redemption from her sins. Romans 12 and 2, renew your mind daily. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Acts 17.11 How to renew your mind. These were more noble, noble than those in Thessalonica, and that they receive the word with all readiness of mind and search the scriptures daily, whether these things were so. So how do you renew your mind? You search the scriptures daily. Search the scriptures daily. Receive the word with readiness of mind. Romans 11.33 Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God, how unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. 1 Corinthians 1.10 Now beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but, be ye, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. And when you're filled with the Holy Ghost, with the speaking in unknown tongues, and baptized under the water in Jesus' name, then you will be in the same mind, perfectly joined together with Christ. 1 Corinthians 2.16 For who hath known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ, if you obeyed Acts 2. And one. Philippians one twenty seven. That ye stand fast in one spirit with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. One spirit and one mind. Philippians two five. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. The only way you're going to renew your mind is to be filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of speaking in unknown tongues, as the Spirit gives the utterance, and you are buried under the water in Jesus' name. 2 Timothy 1.7 For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and a sound mind. God gave us power, love, and a sound mind. Once you get filled with the Holy Ghost, you can cast out any demonic voices or possession. Luke 21, 26. Men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Men's hearts are failing them because of fear. Romans eight fifteen. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. If you have fear, it's a demon that is attacking you. 1 John 4.18 There is no fear in love, 
But perfect love casteth out all fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Perfect love, which is Jesus Christ, casts out all fear. Cast it out. Don't bind it. Romans 11.36 For of him and through him and to him are all things, to whom be glory forever. Amen. You can order all these charts and lessons from this class at the Pentecostal Publishing House dot com website. They also have pre-printed lessons, quizzes, and certificates you can hand out to the classroom for your students. All the scriptures and lexicon are found on the eSword.net website, which you can download for free. Go to Google search Minister Gale Apostolic Teacher on YouTube to find more classes showing how to use several online resources for the Strong's Concordance. Learn Biblical Hebrew, Alphabet, and Root Words, and classes on salvation for any denomination, beginners, students, pastors, preachers, priests, and ministers, which can be used at home or in any religious setting on your phone, tablet PC, or large screen TV, translated by closed caption into your own language. Thank you for coming to this class. Please click and subscribe to see more classes on my Search for Truth 2 Bible study by the Pentecostal Publishing House, Minister Gale, of the original Judeo-Christian One God Teaching in the Bible.